welcome to the Cal Brewer Review. Today we got a special beer that I actually went and picked up myself from the actual brewery. This is the Benchwarmer Porter from Cooperstown Brewery in Milford, New York. I have pretty much every beer from them to do a review on, but this one came, I got in the Growler because the Growler's badass. So we're going to do this one because this one will have a little bit shorter of a shelf life than the bottles. So. Oh, fail. This is my first time pouring it out of a out of a growler that large, so I don't really know how to pour other than aggressively. The uh, color is quite black, but there is some red in there. If you look carefully up against the light, there is like a, like a blood red quality to the bottom. On smell, You know what? Excuse me. Yeah, so a lot of caramel uh, with a bit of chocolate, uh, giving it that aroma of um, of a Carmelo. If you guys know what that is, it's those little squares of chocolate that have uh, caramel inside them. Like you break the squares apart and they're uber delicious. That's what I'm getting on the nose. Let's give it a taste. It has that taste too. And that's what I'm picking up, anyways. Um. A strong coffee mouthfeel and the bitterness on the back of the throat. Um, no, not no hops to really speak of. Um, it's a bit drier than I would like and a bit more bittery than I would like but the initial flavor of this beer uh, the flavor is very good um, but then it finishes out into this bitterness that I'm just not about see I mean I mean it's not bad it's a very well well crafted beer but just not my cup of tea So I'm going to do what I've been doing, and that's uh, go away for 20 minutes and continue to sip on this and come back and tell you how it is once it's opened up a bit. Alright, so we're back, and it's been about 15 minutes. Um, now on the nose... The caramel has... Uh, gotten stronger but I'm not getting as much chocolate as from before mm, taste It's a good solid flavor, it's just I, I'm not a fan of the mouthfeel that's leaving at the end. A bit too bittery and coffee like for me and people that know me know that I enjoy a cup of coffee here and there but I'm not a coffee fanatic. I've just, I've been toying around with different rating uh, um, ideas of how I want to rate things and I feel that giving a beer just a straight pass, fail, one to ten, rating is unfair 
because I feel like there's there are different um, circumstances to each beer. I'm gonna break it down into flavor, appearance, aroma, um, originality, um, and drinkability. Um, and maybe more, maybe less, I haven't decided yet. Um, so I'm not going to do a full-fledged rating on this because um, I'm just lazy today. Because we're going to uh, Oma Gang uh, Brewery, uh, also in Cooperstown. Um, so I'm excited to get out of here and head over there. So, but for me, I'm just going to give... Uh, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm thinking that the originality uh, rank won't be employed with too many beers because there's a lot of breweries, there are very few breweries that stray from traditional recipes, which is cool because tradition is where it all came from. Um, on the color, I give it a, a thumbs up. On the aroma, two thumbs up. Um, on the flavor, for me, I'm going to give it one of these uh, because it is good, just not my preference. As an outsider, looking in, I give this flavor one thumb up. For me, I give it one thumb down. Alright, so that's how I'm going to do a lot of my reviews. I'm going to be trying and be uh, non-biased and give you my rating for it and then give you what maybe other people that enjoy porters would think. So for me, I give it a, a one thumbs down or at least a uh, that little thing. But for a porter, I give it a thumbs up. Um, on drinkability, I mean that's your call. For me personally, I'm going to give this another one of those uh, for dessert, uh, I could see this being good with some ice cream. But on drink drinkability, it's drinkable uh, for the average porter drinker, not really for me. So I'm going to give each one of these a 1 to 10 rating, each of those categories, and then average them out uh, to see what the beer's actual score is. And then well, I'll only imply the originality uh, rating if the beer is trying to be original. Um, so you might see that rating with uh, Stone Brewing, uh, Dogfish, uh, and some others. So, until next time, this is the King of What's Left reminding you that there are no bad beers, just some are better than others. Cheers.